Next question is from Jazz Fitness. What do you think about Gymshark now sponsoring gamers? Oh, oh. the shreds of athleisure wear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? From a business standpoint, That's a good point. What a brilliant market. Well, I'll, I I'll mean, tell you what. I'll tell you what. Because the gamer market is oh, it's huge, massive, yeah. and already we're seeing supplement companies start to target these these kids and gamers or whoever. Yeah. And which makes sense. Obviously, you're gonna. You drink a pre-workout to work out. I can yeah. totally tran transition that into pre. -sup. Every you know. high caffeinated, you know, sugary drink uh, on the planet is trying to get in the space. Yeah. Now it makes sense. This is so. If you're a gamer, here's the thing. It's funny we're even talking about that. And I know I have a son who who's definitely a gamer. You now feel like you belong to this group. So gamers tend to talk the same lingo, just like bodybuilders or powerlifters or dancers you start to speak the same lingo you start to you know talk about the same brands and game it's not that hard to get them all to start to it's dress very the much same. a cult yeah, yeah they start to dress the same or have the same backpacks or i remember when we had the kettlebell competition here how everybody had the same mm. brand uh bags you guys remember that i remember yeah. thinking like everybody's got I never heard of this brand so yeah this is more like a tap out uh, of this sport, though. dude, yeah. so smart. If I owned a, co a clothing company, I would be like, no, this they're. Is a great they're I mean, here's the thing: like, uh, we I tease that they're, uh, you know, the shreds of athleisure wear. Although I really mean that. I really think that the <laughs> yeah. the quality of what they're putting out is okay. You know, at best, by the way. Um, but they're smart. They're really re whoever is running the marketing uh, is is pretty damn brilliant. Or whoever they've hired to do that is really really smart. Mm -hmm. They go after. Uh, niche markets, and the, of course, it makes sense. You got okay if you're a gamer, you got to wear clothes. You're at home all day long, so comfy like athleisure type I of guess. wear. You yeah. don't want, you know, you're not going to see uh, J. Crew go after them. That would be stupid. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you're wear a gonna, suit. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to wear that, but you know, comfy athleisure wear type of apparel is very comfortable. I mean, we that's what we wear all day long. Mm -hmm. Like we wear athleisure wear. We all wear day. quality though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 there's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. but I mean, uh, I think it's it's brilliant by Gymshark, but I also think that when a company like this is so popular, like Shreds was in supplements when we first started the podcast, uh, you know, people just assume because it's big and successful that it's good. You know, we live in a time now where, you know, a lot of these companies that are are massive right now were really were just they were great business. They're a great, they're smart. They got into a space early and they took advantage of it. You know, and what I mean by Gymshark being the shreds of athleisure wear. Shreds dominates uh, supplements on Instagram, not in the world on Instagram, right? They if you that's how they grew. If you walked into a GNC five years ago and asked them what Shreds is, the kid would probably go, "Who the hell is that?" Or if you asked EAS uh, Bill Phillips, "Do you know who Shreds is?" He would chuckle and go, I have no idea who that is. But if you asked somebody who's into fitness that was on Instagram five years ago, "Do you know who Shreds is?" They would say, "Absolutely," because they dominated Instagram uh, for supplements, and the way they did that was when everybody was first kind of getting popular on Instagram and it still wasn't a thing yet where a lot of companies were advertising and had what quote unquote influencers, mm -hmm. they got them all. They create and they created all these pages that were around fitness, right? All these great bodies and workout routines. And then they went out and they sponsored all these young kids that were popular and fit and ripped and they got them to push their supplements and they gave them a yeah. kickback. And then since the margins are so good in it, they could afford to give them a little bit of money, some decent money. So these kids were making good money by pushing these supplements. Gymshark did the same thing with athleisure wear. Mm. They were the first ones to get into Instagram, look at all the fitness people and go, oh, wait, there's not like a, you know, Nike and Reebok. They're not in here. Nike and Reebok aren't talking to influencers on it. They are now. It's small potato. It was small potatoes for yeah. them at the time, man. And so a, a small company, or they were a small company, Gymshark saw this opportunity to get all of these uh, fitness influencers, get them wearing some gear and promoting their stuff. I want to see Felix Gray in this space. I feel like gamers. Yeah. Oh, it yeah, makes perfect yeah. sense. You know, like just on the screens all day, like just, just to to actually contribute something, uh, you know, healthy in their direction to be able to, uh, you know, provide some bit of substance. There. You know what I would imagine? Actually, I I would think that there's a, a blue blocker that has already made their way into game. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I People Felix, thought of it. Felix Gray is a, a, our focus on Apple, Google. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Yeah. They're working with like True. yeah the big dogs. Uh, and, and have been doing that for a while now. Um, I don't know if they if they ever plan to go in the gaming direction. Their brand feels a little more. I don't know. I don't know if luxury. Well, it's it's dude. Yeah. It's such a smart move. You know, when I hear my son talk to his friends, like there there are gamer athlete celebrities. Just like when you hear oh, people yeah. talk about you know basketball or or football or baseball, 
they know this this one player and this oh did you see so and so they played whatever they're become it's becoming that way i mean look i'll tell you what in 5 years gamers are going to have major sponsors yeah. not yet but I they just, will oh, i bro, just no, picture no, i don't no, picture no, no, like no, no. Uh, people like like acne you know companies no 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 like, no, 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 <laughs> no nike bro it's you guys it, it's already there Doug, pull up a uh, highest paid gamer versus a uh, the highest paid athlete. Yeah, they're there. Yeah. Oh yeah. But they're not like they're not yeah. like Nike isn't sponsoring oh, them yeah. yet or putting Bro, or, or are they? Huge brands uh, now are paying these kids massive well, amounts. Jim Shark needs like advertisements with like Cheeto dust all over their clothes and you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. that kind of thing to make it work. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean it's a, again, it's a smart move. Um I don't know how I guess it's just about it uh, like association, right? It's oh well it also right okay, we we talk uh bad about um What's the like, why can't I not think of it? Beachbody? Okay, yeah. Beachbody does billions of dollars online um, uh, marketing with uh, programs, and the thing that we talk bad about it is the programs. The programs are terrible. Mm -hmm. They really are. But that doesn't mean I think Beachbody is a terrible company. It's a brilliant, very smart, market. brilliant company. Yeah. They they are they're marketing geniuses, and we watch what they're doing all the time to see are, are there things that we can emulate, but while also maintaining integrity and being authentic to who we are. So that, I mean, they're brilliant. At that so sometimes these examples of these companies, people assume just because they're massive and they're they're good, it doesn't mean they're well, necessarily good. They're good at marketing. Well, my my son was breaking down for me the way that these guys, these pro gamers, train. You know that they'll play some. Sometimes they'll play max six hours in a day. And I thought I asked him. I said, Why don't they play more than that? He goes, Because they found that if they play too much. It reduces their performance. Burnout. They also exercise regularly. They have Diet. Specific, some, a lot of them have trainers that work on shoulder stability to help prevent them from getting forward shoulder. They they work on hand eye coordination exercise. They eat special diets. Like bro, it's look a at, big deal. Look at those yeah. are all those. Look at Honda, Monster SAP, Energy. Monster, yeah, Twitch, uh, Jersey at, Sub, Hyper. I mean, these are all. Well, these are a lot but, of money in that. But uh, but look space. look a lot of these these companies we not we might not have heard of. It, so at some point it's going to be all these huge you know brands. I bro, would imagine doesn't get much bigger than Honda yeah, dude, and SAP and Monster. Are you kidding me? Those yeah. are massive yeah, companies. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. I know in uh, in South Korea it's uh, they have stadiums full packed. Yeah, full of people South watching Korea, here. Yeah. They, they just started filming there. Remember when we talked to well, Mark Mastroff? Anymore, He's talking yeah. about how the gamers are feeling the filling the the Sacramento Kings stadium up more than some of the basketball. You guys games. are going to be yeah. both. You guys are going to be grandpas, and you're going to yes. be telling your grandkids. Dude. When I was when I was younger, we played sports in person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. and we, we got hurt. We actually hit each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got hurt. You know, crazy. They're like my wrist hurts. Ew, you're weird.